Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gunsmith, where we are now making more than just gloves. Oh, we grow up so fast, don't we? And today, we're gonna start making some other stuff, too. So, let's take a look at the available orders. And we've got people who want uh, the camo vests. And that's nice, too. I'm looking for backpacks. Does anybody want backpacks? We've got trousers. Lots and lots of people want trousers, actually. So, we need to up our game on the trousers, all right? I want, I want some major trouser action happening, okay? Uh, and so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna expand this little lot here, and we're gonna do the same thing here. I want fittings, I want doubling basically all these things. Uh, if take a look at resources, we're not really stockpiling a huge, like, a huge amount of anything except the fittings, and that's okay, because we're gonna be using fittings to make a lot of things. So, uh, the fittings are good. I'm not going to double that yet. Let's double the trouser production. So to do that, I want to go to a dispenser. And I'm going to leave, like, a little gap. Take a little gap so they can uh, they can get through it, right? Take the three-way. Now, the problem with this is I actually have to go kind of in reverse. Because the three-way splitter only works one direction. Which is a real shame. I wish I could alter it and flip it a different way. But it's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take it like this and the three-way splitter is gonna have to be like this So let's put this about like that and then we're gonna go about like that Which lines it up with the splitter the way we need it to be Yep, and then we're gonna go a little bit different on the belts. Uh, I want to go smaller if I can I, I may not be able to but if I can go smaller on them I want to do that. So this one's gonna go this way. This one's gonna go this way and this one's gonna go this way. Uh, and it looks like, actually, no, there was a reason we did it this way, right? It was because we wanted them to be able to get repaired. Yeah. Uh, let's pull these to the side. We may wanna use them some other time. I'd rather not pay double for them. Uh, so let's go this way. And we wanna go like this, like this, and like this. Basically mirroring this, but we're not super symmetrical with it. Just because, uh, again, we, we can't, fully mirror it. I guess I could move this back if I really wanted it to be like right on, you know, something like that. Let me go like this, like this, and like this, and butt this right up against that. So that ends up being, yeah, that ends up being the way we need it to be, okay, for this expansion that we're doing. But actually, that's still, I don't know if it works. Does it work? Because now this is sticking out like that. Is it? Does it work this way? Maybe this is better. Yeah, I think that's the right way. Because before, this is this is flush. And this side sticks out. The back side. Yeah, the back side sticks out. Okay, so then we want to go like that and like that. And then we have the cutters, right? So the cutter machines come out like this. Uh, here. Here and here. I know there's three machines. I just have to like get them placed about like that about like that and about like that good okay so now we're gonna make a whole lot of those next I want recycle bins there there and there and this is basically a repeat of this this whole setup here right now we're gonna do the same thing I want to move some of this stuff so first I'm gonna shut down the dispenser so we don't get anything else moving then that sewing machine then that zipper and then finally this zipper. I'm gonna move this guy back a bit. And what I wanna do is I wanna move the zipper right on this to be in line with this. We're gonna move the sewing machine. You know what? Let's put the sewing machine right up against this. Swap this belt out for a longer one. About like that. I think this will do better for us. And then actually that little belt we can do it over here. This little belt here can go right here. And then what we end up with is... Um, hmm. Let's put you here. Uh, we want to turn all the machines back on. So let's just have this... Power everything back on. So it's starting to work again, hopefully. And... Uh, yeah, everything's operational. So what I'm hoping to do here... Is I'm going to expand to get vests going. But vests require... If we take a look at the cookbook, vests require to be zipped one and sewn twice. So what we're going to do is we will dispense 
Because we need the fittings, right? We have tons of fittings. So all we need to do is have the fabric be dispatched out this way. And it needs to be cut into shape. And then zipped once. And, and that's it, right? We just get it zipped. Now, does it have to be zipped before it becomes a vest? Well, it, it, does it have to be? Does it have to be zipped before it becomes a vest? That's the thing. Because otherwise, if this gets really easy if it doesn't. Because all I'd have to do at that point is put a machine like right here. Uh, hang on. Let's do a couple of sales so we don't go bankrupt here. Um, we'll take that one, that one. We'll just sell all the gloves we have. I think we're probably starting to get a little bit close. So at least we were on the shelves. But now we're up to 4,800 again. Uh, so what I'm thinking of here is... We have the material being dispatched out two of these. The merger machine, sorry, not the merger machine, the cutter machine. It's the vest, right? Yeah. The cutter machine takes 20 power. But if I put the cutter here, well, it's going to have to be like there. If I put the cutter there, right, how long does it take to make the vest? Fabric vest takes two, it takes two and two it's four seconds yeah okay so it's still gonna build up so we actually need a splitter for this operation which is not bad so we'll take a splitter right here okay and then the splitter will go into two of these yeah so the splitter will go uh let's see one belt goes i guess this way we could do this. We could do this with the small belts, actually. These two little belts. Come over here. You're coming with us. Okay. These two little belts. One can go that way. One can go that way. And then we could also get one to go this way and this way. Right? And then this machine goes there. Right? Let's get this to be somewhere else, too. We'll put it over here, I guess. Um, and then the other cutter, the next cutter we'll do will be here. Okay. Now that means we'll be these will be cutting them into vests. So these are cutting fabric vests, right? And then the vests, they're going to get zipping level one, but then they get merged. And the merger is not happening here. So what I'm wondering is, can I merge them and then zip them and sew them? That's the thing. Like, do I have to do this in order? And I don't know if I do. That's, that's what I want to test right now. So, um, because we have to get plastic fittings over here too, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, maybe we'll come off this side then. Come off the side. We're going to split this still. And probably because it takes so long to make these, we probably want the three way splitter on this anyway, don't we? Yeah, half a second, two seconds, four seconds. We need the better, we need a bigger splitter on this anyway. Darn it. All right, so I have to rethink a little bit on that. We're actually out of orders for gloves, really? Uh, okay, well, that's that's what I was afraid of, right? Because now it's like, see if we could take all the glove orders because they'll buy us a little bit of time. And then also we're, we're stocking up on trousers too. So we can service like that order, for example. That order there and this order here because that's just a pure trouser order and that's going to pay us more. So we will grab... I think I'm going to wait and fulfill this order here. It's $9,900. Just going to buy me some time. Um, so what I want to do instead is the three-way splitter here instead of the two-way. I guess we'll kick it out this side. And what I'm hoping here is... Actually, I probably need to back it up a bit more. Come out this way. You know, why don't we make sure this is running before we get into this, huh? Like, I could have so many more trousers being made right now if I would just, like, get that going, right? Uh, and then I could actually... Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. We could go... Move this again. I don't know where I want these things to be. What I'm going to do is this and then also another dispenser here. Move this guy down all the way over here, I guess. Uh, we'll go dispenser here, dispenser here. Yeah, and we'll put the long 
one like that, and we'll just get these butt up against this. So with these two kicking out uh, trousers, just bam, 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 bam. It's going through all the passive machines. There's no production time. It's just kick them out as fast as possible. That's what we're here to do. So um, we can go ahead and turn that back on because this is all going to run and we want to, you know, sell trousers. So there's that. Uh, I'm wondering whether or not these guys are going to fix these machines, though. It is along their route, but I don't see them actually doing it. And that's the problem because, well, are you going to do these? So do you only respond to them when it's down 50%? That might be how it works. Because this one here, they're not going to get to. There's not enough space for this one. So I do need to repair this one manually. And this one. The rest of them are being well kept up, though, I guess. Or at least near the 50% mark, they're getting fixed. But they are getting fixed, and that's the important thing. Okay. So let's get this sorted first. I need another line station. So pick one of the line stations, go back, and... Uh, I need capacity for five machines. I'm going to need another line. So we're going to do another station. It's going to be over here. Just chilling over here, right? And we're going to add one, two, three, four, five machines to this, right? And then, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I think we could probably, we'll add this to the, yeah, we'll add that to the trouser line too. Okay, cool. We're down power. So we'll need more of that as well. We're getting also literally low on cash now too. My God, what is happening here? Uh, let's go ahead and grab this order. Done. And that order. Back in the positive territory. We're just like flirting with debt. Like that's all I'm doing. It's just flirting with negative money. But we're keeping it alive, you know? I am keeping things alive at least. Turn the machines on. Let's see how they work. What I hope to see here... Uh, I'm not outputting anything. This should be outputting fabric sheets. This should be cutting trousers. Cutting trousers and cutting trousers. So, tons of trousers just being cut up and placed inside the recycle bins. Right? That's, what, that's the goal. And then these two machines here... I'm going to go ahead and add... Uh, not you. It's you. It's you. Let's add this station to you as well. And then we'll flip you on and you're going to output, uh, trousers. There we go. So we're going to output the trousers as fast as we can. They just get zipped up and cut up and sewn up and everything. And they just all go into the box, right? So we should be able to satisfy trouser orders pretty, pretty consistently now. I would hope anyway. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this station is kind of in a weird spot. I'm going to move your chair into here. Uh, I need to leave room, though, for the maintenance guys. So go there. Okay. So trous trousers are being made uh, pretty quickly now. I feel good about that. We have uh, lots of fittings being made constantly. And uh, this over here is the gloves, which if I take a look at our supply, we're actually, yeah, we're... Uh, we're not building up a huge collection of those yet, so that's good. Now, the combat vest is going to take fittings. So, we are building up a bank of fittings right now, but we're going to start using those, right? That's that's something we're going to keep in mind, too. Um, available orders. Sell those gloves. These are just trouser orders. Available orders. Let's take some more glove orders that we can totally fill. Take that one. 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 All these all these trouser orders, all these camo glove orders, these are all things we can fill. So let's just kind of get them. This is a combo order, which is pretty good. And actually, we can fill it right now for 7700 bucks. So I think we just take all of these. Now, this is a vest order. I'm going to wait on that for a second. So active orders here. Sell the gloves. Sell the gloves. And oh, okay. Almost ready to sell that combo order. Uh, yeah, we'll wait. Okay, we're still positive and money, okay? That's that's the important thing. Gloves, uh, yeah, gloves, trousers all being made. Now, vests. The vests are going to come through here. The fabric's going to come through here, get all cut up. We're going to want three cutters on the vests. 
And, uh... To get three cutters on the vests... I'm thinking... We probably... We could do it over here, too. This is like... Trousers, trousers... Gloves, and then vests here. And then maybe some extra fitting expansion if we need to. And then we just have the machine kick out here, which... Like, may not be that bad of an idea if we do this over here. Because it's got the room for it. And it's kind of got the pattern for it, too. Like, this is all logistically possible in this area, right? And then I don't have to crowd this with anything more complicated. So, like, we make the vests here. Um, be the other way around, wouldn't it? Yep. We make the vests over here. Just leave enough room for people to walk around and give repairs. We do that, right? And then we go and get the belts and the cutters. So we want this belt to just kind of hang out over here. I actually may need a couple of these little belts for the pathing here. So let's take the cutters this way. And what we want on this is... First, let's satisfy an order if we can. This is actually really close to being filled. Uh, I want a little glove order. This will do. And, uh, can't quite fill that one. And, can we have a little glove order? This one will do. I need, I need gloves to build up, but, like, there's no sense in having gloves ready to go unless the trousers are ready to go for those combo orders like that. Okay, I'm going to scoot this just a little bit. So about like that. It doesn't give a whole lot of travel room between the machines, but I think it's okay. All right, we want cutters. Cutters here, cutter here, and an extra cutter going in right... I could never find it. It's this little... This icon is just... I don't know. It doesn't resonate with me as far as, like... Uh, like, that's something that you should use. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's create a little bit of space between them. Right? And actually, it's got to be lined up a bit more, so we're going to go this way with it. There we go. I think it probably get away with moving them closer here too. Let's move this in, move this in, and move this in. All right, so if I was to take a belt and go um, this way, this way, and this way, just like the other cutters machines are. It's basically a replica of this design, right? If we were to do this, it allows for all of the machines to be spaced far enough apart, right, to where they can get serviced. And then we just put these in, in place like that, right? So all of these, this is the same thing. We're going to we're going to kick out plastic fabric sheets, right? Fabric sheets output and we mold them into fabric vests. So these are all the vests. And then the vests get output into the recycle bins. Here, here, and here. And we're running out of money. So let's see if we can fill that order. We can? Bam! We are positive big time. Good. Uh, Want to go this order. And let's fill... You know what? It's fine. We'll wait for the other orders. These are in order of fulfillment. So the one that expires the quickest is always at the top for me. All right. 10 grand in the bank. We're starting to get a little bit more cash. But we just spend it immediately because I want to expand this out. So with this thing making vests, I think it's time to add a little bit more to our automation rules. And uh, we're going to alter the fabric sheets to say order 500 at a time when the value uh, is lower than 150. Because we're going to use them faster. So let's save that. The plastic blocks, not a big deal. We can leave that as is because we're not, we're not overusing those yet. So... What I'm hoping to see here is as soon as this gets down to about 150, we should be reordering them very quickly. Now, the price of them is going up. And I don't know about that, all right? But the price of them is currently going up. Uh, there it is. Bam. Big, big inventory. And that's going to eat into our money a lot, too. Now, we're also spending money on R&D now because we have a good bank. We're actually spending 10% on research and development. And we have 218 RP. So let's not sit on our hands. Let's uh, make sure we're doing this. I want line control capacity too. I don't want to hire a ton of employees. I want to limit how many employees I need to do all the jobs. 
And then, I think from there, there's this flow cross one, which seems kind of interesting. I don't know how that one would work, other than just crossing the, the belts over top of each other, right? So, allows you to cross a belt line over another. This sounds, sounds kind of nice. Um, I'm also thinking about stacking four and maintenance costs. You know what? Maybe we'd go down the maintenance costs for a bit. It does cost us money to invest in that, though. So, we got to keep that in mind, too. All right. So, once we get that extra capacity, I'm going to go ahead and add these stations to this guy. And uh, we can just go ahead and make sure everything's turned on and turned off. Yeah. So, turn everything off, turn everything on. And we're left with... I think. Uh, no, everything's off here. Why? 154 power. Jesus. More power? More power. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? I need them to, to, to flow a certain way, right? So basically, we're going to make the fabric vests on this side. Let's just get that started. I'll, I'll invest in the power. It's fine. I'm almost tempted to make another one. Scoot the water down a bit, because it's just... We're just going to have to keep expanding power. Eventually, we will need more gas as we heat more things, which we're going to start doing now. We're going to need more of that. I'm not entirely sure about the, the freeze, the cooling. Uh, I imagine that has to do with... Uh, well, when we start playing with our chemistry set later, I imagine that's probably what will do it. Um, okay, let's turn this guy's machines on. And... I'm hoping to see a good number of fabric vests being thrown into recycle bins. Fabric vests is what we should see. If I take a look at inventory, we're getting vest build up. Good. And lots of fittings built up too. We need to figure that out too. Okay. So what we want to do is go back to the cookbook. The camo vest... We're taking care of this part right here, over there in the recycle bins. Uh, we're taking care of the fittings over here, and we're, we're just amassing a bunch of them. So now it comes down to whether or not we have to zip these things before they get uh, turned into a camo vest. I'd like to say that I could just pass them right through here and it'd be fine. I, I would like to say that that's possible, but I don't know that. Um... We're going to have to test it. So, I'm going to take one of these machines. I think it's going to be here. The other one's going to be... Uh, I might need a splitter for this. Let me just test the... I need a... Where is it? Merger machine. I want to test how long does it take you to do this. Camo vest. So, it's two seconds and two seconds. So, I'm going to need a bunch of these, unfortunately. If I'm going to go here, here... And here, I need to back up. And actually, why don't we just go this direction? Because it's probably a little bit nicer anyway with this much room. So we'll go this way with it. Uh, I'll put it like there and like just over here, I guess. Give me a three-way splitter. So it goes to about like this. Right? And then we go out that way. Go out that way, right? Uh, and then this this belt takes it up that direction and connects to this. Yep. This belt goes up this direction, connects to that. But we want to space this out more. Yeah, we want to space that out more. Um, we could probably get away with that though, right? I think so. It goes in the edge, but it still goes in. Right? It just needs enough space on the edges so that it can get repaired. So I'm thinking if we do this, I don't think that gives it enough room. I have to go out further, right? That's that's what we did over here. Yeah, that's what we did over here. We're running out of, of funds at an alarming rate. Oh, no. Stand by. We need to accept some orders. Stand by. Uh, not this one. Uh, this one. Excuse me? Alarming rate? We are. <laughs> we were, though. Uh, tons of gloves. Let's just fill a ton of glove orders. Like, all of the glove orders just need to get filled right now. 
If it's just like you all I want are gloves, then let's fill those. Because I've got a ton of them. Yeah, gloves, trousers, gloves, trousers. Like all of the gloves, trousers orders, okay? Um, this one's a combined order for vests too. But what I really want to do is just take all the glove orders and just satisfy them all. That takes care of actually a bunch of them. Uh, this one here could go too. Okay, scroll up. Fulfillment time, all right? That's what we want to worry about. So, okay. We want to get the, the vests working. So this needs doesn't need to go. This doesn't need to go. And what we had to do over there was extend them up to be a little bit further apart. So that's what we'll do over here too, I guess. Um, like that. Okay, slam this up against this. And this is ready to go now too. Now, I am going to save these in case I need them for uh, this pathing. But these merger machines... What we want out of this is, I'm going to back this up a bit. We're going to go like this. Okay. What I want from this is one of these is going to dispatch the fittings. And one of these is going to output the vests. Okay. So the vests and the, uh, and the fittings are going to get right here. Take a look at the cookbook. So the fittings are here, and the vests without zipping are here. Now, I'm wondering, do I need... Yeah, it needs to be zipped before they get put in the machine. Damn. Okay, so that makes things a little bit more challenging, but it's nothing we can't work through. Uh, so, what we'll need instead... Let's shut down this line really quick. What we'll need instead is to reorder order this one more time. I need this to be double zip and this to be the sew. Okay, now turn that line back on. So what's gonna have to happen here is we get, we're gonna need an extra zipping machine because I can't get them through the zipper in this zipper, which is like the kind of the whole point of this, this problem here. The whole point was to get them through that zipper, but I can't do that. It's just not gonna work, so. Um, satisfy this, this order. And any other gloves orders? No? Uh, this one. Trouser order. Go. Okay. Um, zipper. Zipper, 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 zipper. Zipper-matic. Whatever it is. It needs to be zipped before this. Shit. That sucks. All right. We can, we can make this work. I think we can make this work. All we need to do is have the vests have the zipper machine all right i got it i know how we're going to do this let's have the zipper machine be here right and then we line up this with this right so this zips the past fabric vests get zipped on the way here then the fittings output here it all gets merged into the mergers it produces what we want it to produce which is camo vests there we go, right? And then it all gets kicked out. Come on now. It all gets kicked out. Uh, it needs to be over a little bit there. And there. Yeah, it all gets kicked out this direction, right? So there, there. Uh, let's go this way with it. Like that. I don't like doing that, but that's the way these belts are lined up. Unless I want to move this whole operation that way. And you know what? I kind of do. So let's just do that. Demolish these two. Let's just move this whole operation to where it's in line with this. Okay. So we'll move this up just a tad too. Why not? Just to kind of close in the gaps. Now, the other thing we could do, which I don't really like this as much but we could do this is just have these drop into recycle bins and put an extra dispenser here. I wonder if that's going to be better. Dispenser takes 25 maintenance a day and five power. So it's only five power, which is important because the belts take a lot of power. Uh, and if we're going to do that, then five power, 25 a day versus five of each. So that's 25 power and a lot. Okay. That's actually better. 
Yeah, it's 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 overall better to do it that way. So let's just do that. Demolish these. We're not going to get the money back for that, but whatever. And what we want to do then is to move this here. Move it back here. Move it back here. And we want to pop a dispenser right here, actually. This is, this is a better way of doing it, unfortunately. It, I don't know about unfortunately, but it is a better way of doing it. So uh, we want to output camo vests from here. So what we're going to do is put uh, recycle bins here, here, and here. And now we should be able to turn this machine on and have it no problem. Um, so let me take a second to reorganize what, which one of these guys are looking at what stations because they all have an extra two capacity now. I'm going to disconnect everything. And we're going to see whether or not I can uh, have the organizational structure of their tasks make sense. Because right now, like, these guys are kind of seemingly... Like randomly uh, paying attention to certain machines. So what I want to do is I'm going to I don't want to remove the station. I just want to delete I want to delete everything. So that'll shut it all off but I want to delete everything that you're controlling and just basically reassign like reassign you. So let's just power everything off. The whole, the whole factory just power it all off for a second. And again, I want to just remove these machines from your care. And we're going to line things up. See, like, that's really random. Why are you controlling that one, right? Um, you. You're going to control... That one made sense, actually. But I'm just going to clean slate this anyway. Because you've also got these for some reason. Which makes no sense. Uh, and then you have all of these. Maybe we'll start with you. Because you actually make sense. You've got all of these under your care, which makes sense. I'm going to expand on that idea by also having you control this, this. and No, this is part of a different production line. Never mind. Um, you're going to control... You know what? You, you have, what, three left? Let's have you control... Uh, uh, shoot, I don't know. Only three? That's That's a weird number for this. Uh, we'll expand you later, I guess. We'll have you control this stuff, too. We'll do that. One, two, three. Uh, you are going to come down here with him. Uh, you're going to control this, 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 this. And you're also going to take this, 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 and this. So that gives you total control over the vest production line. Um, except for the zipper. Sorry, except for that dispenser, which makes more sense for you anyway. But it doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, let's see. That's 12. We can go... That's 12 is fine. You. You're going to take these these machines here. And you got what, four left. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Which leaves you. You are going to take one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 13, actually. But you know what? I think it's every machine. We have every machine controlled now, I think. So if I was to, for example, go like this, does everything in the whole factory turn on now? I do see some red lights. Yeah, your machines are off. Why is that? Because it takes 200 power to turn yours on. Is there anything I can do to reduce power? Uh, yes, this merger machine is doing nothing. We can just remove it and delete it from the equation. And now we have enough to turn your line on. Perfect. Ah, love it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So. Now, this is actually off. Hang on. Why are you off? Why is your line off? Power all on. Why are you off? You're not... You're not controlled by anything? Wait, did I skip you? How did I... All right, hang on. Uh, I'll add... Wow, all of this stuff is off? I must have missed the station, right? I don't think so. You have 12. I guess we'll add... Uh, this one to your line. And turn it on. Not enough utility capacity. Frick, that's why. 
Uh, and then you don't have these machines either. I guess we'll turn you on. And then I'll add another el more electricity, I guess. I don't like how much electricity we use. There needs to be some sort of electricity efficiency. All right. Oh, my God. Look at all the spillage. Oh, what is happening here? Wait, what? Oh, this belt's going the wrong way. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, uh, shut it all down. Shut it all down. Shut it all down. Shut it all down. Oh, got it. Got it. <laughs> I had the belt the wrong way. Hey, I bet it happens to everybody, okay? I bet it happens to everyone. Oh, look at this. That's cute. <laughs> hey, all right. Uh, Hoover this. We don't need that. Hi, Hoover it up. Put this there and turn it on. Can we have this? Can we have everything we want now? No, we have to move you over. Okay, okay, okay. Relax. Relax, machines. All right, just, just chill for a second. I don't have you lined up the way you're supposed to be lined up, okay? Uh, so you need to go there. Uh-huh. And you... Wait, was this just an extra dispel? Oh, that's the zipper. Right. You're supposed to go there. Okay, turn you on and then turn you on. Okay, can I have everything I want now? Pretty, pretty please. It looks like I can. Okay. <laughs> and then I should see the vests coming out here. Camo vests. Can I see the output? Should see camo vests. Beautiful. Okay, now you are going to take the camo vests. You're going to output those. Now, I want to see the progression on this. Do you get the proper configuration to begin boxing vests? It looks as if you do. Yeah, you have one, two. Perfect. Awesome. And it's only... Yeah, we're good. Okay. Perfect. Got an extra recycle bin just hanging out. Fine. Uh, let's get some more maintenance staff because I feel like my machines are not getting taken care of quite the way they should. Actually, you know, if I manage the patrol routes and edit one of these routes, I bet you I can get this guy, for example. I don't know what's happening there. Um, let's just discard that route entirely. Let's uh, confirm the deletion on that. Confirm. We'll make all new routes now. So, new route. Maintenance guy. Hang on. Stop. This means machines are off. Why? Power all the machines on. Why are you off? Power it on. What's going on here? Come on. None of the machines should be off right now. Everything should be working. You. Or are you off? You're just this random thing. You're random. Goodbye. I don't want the power. The freaking power was... That That was taking up power too, damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got some spillage happening here too. I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, How is that happening? Hmm. I mean, I guess some spillage is normal, but... um. I found it weird that it ended up there. Wait, are you only... What are you doing? You're only outputting... Oh my god, that's why. Flip this around. Son of a gun! Ah! I was wasting my time! Alright, it was so much waste. This should work now, I hope. You should put it here and it should go that way. Good. The problem is they're not all getting the... Like, this three-way doesn't evenly distribute them. Like, look at how much more this machine is getting than the other machines. This isn't even at all. It's not even distribution. And I, I don't know how to fix that other than... Like, I don't know how to fix that. Like, it's just not even. Let's hoover some of the stuff that's stuck. Before, I thought it wasn't happening because it was, uh, like, the the splitter was off. But now I'm not so sure that's the case. I don't think it has anything to do with the splitter anymore, you know? Um, we'll sell that, and... If you guys know why that is, I, I've recorded these last three videos all in one sitting, so I'm gonna read comments now. But, if you, like, can you explain? This is the second time this has happened, right? To where 
Like, it's just flat out not... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Um, hang on. Shut down this machine. Shut down this machine. Shut down this machine. Uh, let's shut down all of these for a second. Shut these down. I think I... F well, I don't know if I figured it out, but it's, it's an alignment issue. This isn't aligned. I think it's an alignment issue. I think that will fix it. I think there is stuff getting caught up on the wall, and that's why it was dropping. Let's hoover all of this, and then we'll start it again. We'll start with this one, followed by the zipper, then we'll get the fittings going, and then the vests going. Now, I want to see if it starts to distribute these evenly now. Because before, it was like only one side was getting them every time, and now it looks like we're finally getting even distribution. That was an alignment issue. Perfect. All righty then. Awesome. Okay, let's check our, our, our inventory here. We should see vests. Actually, available orders. We should see vests as well. Uh, camo vest. Here we go. And trousers and gloves. Yep. Gloves and trousers. Trousers and gloves. All the orders. So now we can start filling up all of these orders too. Now, do we want to investigate what it takes for backpacks? Is that something we're interested in? Backpacks. What's it going to take for us to do that? Right? Plastic fittings and the fabric backpack. Also, we have tons of plastic fi fittings. And we're, like, kind of still sort of... Like, we're starting to drop numbers. You can see it. Right? They're starting to fall. We're starting to use our surplus a bit, which is good. Um, that's a good sign. But it also means that I don't need any more of this process. Uh, and if I do, I can just set it up right here next to all this. this. All the fittings are being made right there. So what we really need is identical to the vests. It's the exact same setup for the vest. Which means I could probably just set up another one of this. This right here can just be set up again. And it could be the backpacks. And then on this side, we put another dispenser that is gonna dish out the backpacks. Now we might wanna stagger it so that these things don't knock into each other. But so far it seems like this stuff kinda corrects itself. It kinda starts to figure out where it wants to be and it gets on the assembly line and off it goes. So it's doing okay. As long as we're double dipping as many machines as possible. Cause this needs zipper level one, two, right? So if we get backpack orders, we just, we basically just repeat it. Uh, same workflow, which we have a backpack order here now. This is worth 24 grand. Although setting up backpacks for that one order, eh, maybe not. Not when we're able to sell pretty much everything else whenever we want. Uh, the fulfillment on these is pretty soon. So I think I might fill this one. Now let's fill this one first because it's got the gloves. We can just hit gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, when we get the trousers, we'll do this one. So, pretty good, huh? We're doing a pretty good. Um, I need to set up my patrol routes for my my dudes again, but I think I'll take care of that off video. Um, and we'll just have them kind of roaming around, looking at all the machinery. But this is going well, and we're still investing a lot per day now, thousand dollars a day into uh, into research and development. We have uh, 171 RP. And I think I want to start reducing maintenance costs a bit. And then I think from there, we need to have reputation built up with the U.S. government to get our chemicals license. And bullet production also requires uh, a good reputation. So we just need to keep servicing the U.S. government, basically. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, uh, this is taking no maintenance costs, so I'm going to leave this for later. We'll probably put this over here and, uh, and use it for something else. But yeah, we can take another dispenser and pop it here, and we'll just double dip this, this sewing machine. And if it's too crowded here for some reason, um, we can always put the dispenser... Well, backpacks need two sewing, or one. Yeah, two sewing after the merger so same thing we merge them in then we get them sewing i like it 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, redo my maintenance guy routes so they're not wandering all the way around the whole factory aimlessly. And uh, when we come back, we will most likely have some backpack orders and stuff and we can start getting some of that set up, probably right here. And uh, when we start getting into bullets and stuff, that's when we'll shift down to this side of the factory and all of this can be weapons. This can all be our weapons area, right? Oh, check out this spillage. This is the tutorial spillage. I didn't even I didn't even pick it up. So, extra supplies for me. Come on back for the next one, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out uh, oh, anything else we're doing on the channel. I got a whole bunch of stuff. There's something for everybody. Maybe you'll like something. Take care. We'll see you. Bye.